Hello everybody and welcome along to a damp and slightly grey Road Atlantic, the 20th anniversary, Petit Le Mans, 10 hours on the clock. Right now we're here for the final race. This event has grown into a very big one. It's the 20th time we do Petit Le Mans. Here we started the year great. Lots of podiums and two wins. And with that, we put ourselves in a good position in all the championships. The North American Endurance Championships title is still up for the grab. So uh, that's what we're here for. And Mercedes AMG is awesome for a race car driver to hop right in. It inspires confidence and high speed. And that's really what you need here at Road Atlanta with the high speeds we have here and elevation change. In 10 hours, a lot of things can happen. So you always have to be in the right strategy to be consistent and stay out of trouble and then be in the front the last hour. We get points at the four hour and eight hour mark, so hopefully uh, with a good race here, we can make up with the leaders and win some trophies. The GTT bar is down now. Two hours have been completed. We were expecting done this. I think everybody loves the S's. A uh, nice sequence of corners. If you start them wrong, then you're going to lose time. And I love turn 11 and 12. You go over the crest, you don't see anything, and then suddenly there's this uh, last turn that you can take flat out in our AMG T3. So every lap is a nice adventure. We're suffering a little bit here with extra weight and a little down on horsepower, but you know we're happy to have this livery and we're happy Lincoln Park is here. It's a really proud day for us. We're obviously huge fans of Lincoln Park and spoke with AMG and they wanted to do something special for Chester and he loved cars and he loved AMG. Team AMG and the Lincoln Park car number 75. The guys came up with this design very similar to his tattoos so we're proud to carry that today and hope we can do well for him and his memory and uh, I can promise you the hammer will be down. Can you pull behind the wheel? New livery this weekend for the 75 car Lincoln Park tribute with the matte black and flames. It was the first season for us running the GT3s together with Riley and Sun Energy. It was great. It was a learning curve for us. Our car is really fast by cornering, a little bit slow on the straight with the BOP, but this is what we expected. But we're going to figure out that for next year. Coming back in 18, even stronger maybe, additional GT3 cars and the GT4 as well. We have a huge demand for the new GT4, so we can expect a lot more from us next year. Yeah, it's a shame early in the race, Kenny got touched a bit by a prototype, so it damaged the car a little bit. So our pace was a little off uh, from the damage, but we were fighting and then we had a small issue with the radiator, like mechanical issue. With time to fix it, we lost uh, lots of laps, so now we're not really in the race anymore. There's been quite a few wrecks, people going off the track, lots of action, and I expect a lot more to come as well at the end of the night. Coming into the last three hours of the race, three hours and 13 minutes. We hit our marks, come in, get the car clean, get the tires on, get it fueled, get it out. Everybody's been really, really good tonight. It's been spot on. Uh, we've got the best crew. We've got the best uh, guys going over the wall, doing the tire changes, doing the fueling. It was really phenomenal. The AMG's running strong. The drums pushing and pushing. Hoping to finish third or better. Two minutes to go. One more lap before the white flag. There's 17 cars in the GT Daytona class. And we started in last place with our car because the balance of performance. Four of the cars finished on the lead lap. We were one of those cars that finished on the lead lap. I think that says a lot about how difficult this race is and how great you have to be in the pits. I'm very excited to finish fourth here in the 20th anniversary Petit Le Mans. Even though we finished fourth in the race, we finished third place in our four hour points and first place in the eight hour points, which is what we needed to win the North American Endurance Championship.